Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things and I'm super glad to see you. Do you know why? Because I love seeing people and I'm isolated a lot. So your being here means a lot to me. I have some freshly washed hair and it just dries like this. I did put a little hairspray to get my bangs on my face. But other than that, oh, why do I, every time I turn on the camera, I feel like I gotta blend out my bronzer just a little bit more to look more natural. Natural, they say, look natural. Today, speaking of natural, I've got I like a color pop haul and I've got the new palette garden variety. And look at this beautiful, it's all covered in succulents. And I can't wait to use this. I have a little bit of blush on. But I also have this that goes with the collection and it's called Herb Appeal. And inside of here is a little succulent blush and it's super pretty. And it comes with a really beautiful lip oil that I have used and it is delightful. It's not sticky at all and it doesn't have any weird flavor. And so this is what the palette looks like. See all the beautiful, highlighted, lustrous succulents? Well, there is the palette. And then I've got another palette that I bought. And it's completely opposite of the garden palette. And it's called All That. And it is Gorgioso. It looks similar to one I have called X's and O's. But there's differences of, there's a lot of differences in the colors. And like this has more of a gold tone to it. And this has got a, a more true rose and a little smoky gray there. But I'm excited to have this new palette, all that. And I will use that very soon. But today, throw away this box and I'm getting quite the ColourPop collection um, but I don't mind because ColourPop is affordable good quality makeup that makes me happy I'm going to use a little bit of this blush even though I have some blush on but more of a flush that's really pretty I added a nice pop of color and that will go with my blush collection. I've got a new organization system, so I have everything separated. Let me blend that out. That looks pretty. Now let's do some highlights. I got a new highlighting palette and it's called Kaleidoscope and it's by You Can Be. And it has got a bunch of really beautiful highlights and let's do some swatches and we also do swatches of the garden variety palette and so the highlight palette is super pretty and it feels very nice and soft i'm gonna it's gonna be hard to see some of these oh i didn't do one on my pinky So that's the first four colors there. And then there's five other colors. And then there's just one left, but look at those pretty highlights. And this palette came from Amazon and it was like 10 bucks. And there are all the highlights and some are better than others, but it's really a nice highlight palette. And I'm going to, I'm about to try to speak again and put some highlight on from this palette. And I'm using my Luxie fan brush and I'm going to go, there's no names on here, but I'm going to go into this one because it seemed to have really, oh, 
that's blinding. It's alien slut quality. I should I should send that to Teresa. Yeah, that is a great one. You can never see the highlight as well on my right side. That's beautiful. Super shiny, super wet looking. Fantastic addition to my highlight collection, which is getting pretty big also. Bam, look at that. Bam. All right, the Garden Variety Palette has 15 colors in it. And I'm going to swatch the palette and use all my digits. And that is a very pale color. That is a, another pale color. That's a pale pink. Some very pretty subtle colors. You can see them right there. And they've been doing a lot of pastel colors with ColourPop. They just had the Candyland collection launch. That, I already have plenty of pastels from the like tie-dye palette and all those tie-dye palettes, so I don't really need any more of those. But this palette looked pretty and different from the rest. It's really very pretty. I love this ultraviolet pink. Reminds me of the ultraviolet red crayon. And then this last row is got some definitely darkness to it. And if you hear the little ting ting, it's Ruby, the kitten, playing with something she's found on the ground. And these are very soft and buttery. Ooh. And that is just a really beautiful palette. Lots of nice shimmers. And that gives me an idea of what kind of look I want to make. I'm very excited. Look at that highlight. It's just crazy. It's crazy good. So I'm going to start with Prickly Please here. This little soft, nudie kind of color. Put it in my crease. It's going on really nice and soft. And just a warm nude color. Great for the crease. Great for a transition color. I wish I could get a hold of whatever she's digging around. It's about to make me crazy. Ruby! What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? What do you got? I can't even see what it is. But it's something annoying. I hope it's not gonna make you crazy. Maybe it's just gonna make me crazy. Crazy like a fox with some pretty shimmery looks. Let's see. And I'm going to use this Alter Ego number five brush. I just got it from my Alter Ego haul the other day. And I'm going to go into Don't Leaf, this coppery color. It goes really well with Prickly Please, except a, little, a lot more shimmery. And that looks super cute. I'm just packing on that shimmer. Very ethereal look. That's pretty. What you doing, Ruby? Oh, everybody would love to see you. Everybody loves seeing sweet little Ruby. <gasps> Look at her, she's so sweet. She says, Mama, why you hold me up? When I've got things to play with. She is very precious. I'm gonna go in next with Over the Bloom, which is this kind of coral color here. Get my bangs, no matter what I do, my bangs get eyeshadow on them anymore are growing out. 
And that looks super pretty and fresh. I love that. It looks so pretty. Oh, I'm so pretty. I sound like uh, Muhammad Ali, who is from my hometown, Louisville, Kentucky. But we say Louisville. Oh, people from other places call it Louisville or Louisville. Let's see. I'm going to blend this a little. Oh, that's so pretty. It's making my eyes really pop green. Speaking of green, I think I'm going to go into this shimmery green. It's called Best Buds. Yeah, that picked up really nicely. I'm just going to put it on my eyelid. As you guys know, I love a green. so pretty so pretty I'm so excited about this look I'm so excited about this palette color pop you've done it again it's a great palette now let's see clean off my brush I'm going to go into the crease with a little clay day and it is a shimmery shimmer Just to deepen up the outer corner a little. It's so pretty. And you, you can like really see the sparkle. It's like almost half, it's still got so much glitter in it. Look at that. So glittery. Get another blending brush. Super pretty. I'm going to just drag that into the middle more. And I'm going to get a fluffy brush. And go under my brow. Uh, it is a profusion brush. And I'm going to go under my brow with wavelength here. A little kick up in the pan. Woo! That went in very easily. Just blending it in. And then I'll get my blending brush, my big blending brush. Where are you, blending brush? I'll use this one. And this is just a soft, fresh look, and it looks great with my little skull shirt, which is soft and delightful. And I'm going to use the Hyper Easy by Maybelline liner. And it looks super sweet. And I'm going to 
me do my brows. Where's my brow? Bro, brow go. There we go. And this is Delilah in taupe. I just love having my brows microbladed that I just fill them in with a pencil and blend it out. And I've got a good outline every time. And for my lips, I'm going to do lip liner and gloss. I got a bunch of essence the planners the other day, and this looks like it'll be great. Hmm, it's too pale. I need to go a little darker. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. That looks pretty. And then I'm going to take ooh, this. It this is a little fancy, it's a little bougie. But it is a Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. And let me see if I can read what it says. No, I can't read what it says. But I got a lip liner and a couple of lip glosses from Charlotte Tilbury when there was a big sale a while ago. Don't get me wrong, I still love a good matte lip. But I'm giving gloss a chance. I think that looks really pretty. So this is my, my look with the Garden Variety Palette and the blush and some fancy lip gloss. I used Essence Lip Pencil and Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss. I'm very fancy, but I love it. I hope you have a great day or a day of your choice. We'll see you real soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.